Your little lips there said so low. Mm. Um. But it's so fucking cool. Because your brain is like, hey, do we need to make a baby? Let's make a baby. Like, is it time to make a baby? And they're like, shroom, shroom, shroom. And then your whole body's like, shroom, shroom, shroom. And then it's like, oh, eggs, go, dispatch. And then it's like, oh, no, baby. Okay, shed. Hi, I'm Sid. And my name is Lorena. And welcome to dinner date number 16. This is number 16. <laughs> Um, and we made a lentil soup thing. Mm. Ah! <laughs> See, I thought I was going to spoil because I closed my eyes, but it was you who spoiled. <laughs> that was on camera. <laughs> it's fine. And plantains. Do you want to show the plantains while I do Yeah, you're this? still cleaning up your mesh. <laughs> I never knew how to make plantains. Sid so taught me. Woo! I had a whole different vision of how plantains were made. Um, Mom, I'm eating plantains. I never used to like them. And what? And we watched a movie called Ghosted. A German Taiwanese film. about like how long I'm taking. Okay, I'll start over. Okay, so there's this Taiwanese um, chick. Her name is Ai Lin. Ai Lin. And she goes to Germany to find out about her father. That's my phone. To find out about her father um, who died uh, many years ago. And while she's there, she meets this woman. Who, what's her name? Whatever her name is. She's this German artist. And they, Sophie. Sophie, and they become lovers and such. And um, then she like dies mysteriously. We don't know because we're, we're in the, we're in the. Oh, she dies mysteriously. We don't know because we go into the future suddenly. But then there's like some weird other like Taiwanese girl who's like following Sophie around kind of, and she's like a journalist and she wants to like interview her and stuff. But like there's something sketchy about her. But we all, there's also something sketchy about Eileen's death because we don't really know what happened and stuff. Like what are her first impressions? Um... Yeah, I thought this movie was going to be, I don't know, a more simple lesbian romance, but it, well, I mean, in a sense it was, but it had this very strange, the lesbian ethereal, part of it was, was very simple, like, intense setting to it, like, somehow they had constructed this really, like, the feel of the whole movie is very like, cerebrally, thrillery-ish. Yeah, it was supposed to be, like, some but kind of, like, kind of weird. It's supposed to be like mysterious and like thriller, like and like yeah, we don't know what's going on. But I was just fucking bored. Like I thought it was cool. It got like set up interestingly, but then it it didn't so much go potential. Yeah, it didn't, it's kind of so ended much up potential unraveling. You had all these leads, and then the characters were hot. So queer rating out of uh, ten plantains. I also want to give it six. Six and a half. We are a queer movie blog, so I don't like feel a lot of pressure. Maybe if I thought it was in the theaters, I would think more. But I think it was still pretty like hush hush. I'm gonna give it a four and a half. Four and a half. Uh, overall rating. Great. <laughs> I'm gonna give it a five. I'm kind of on the fence. I enjoyed it. I think it was worthwhile, and I do appreciate that it was different from a lot of things out there. Rotten Tomatoes really did not like it. It got one. Tomato. Yeah. The New York Times also did not like it. But, you know, you can't watch awesome movies all the time. No, I mean, and lesbian movies are known to be terrible, and I think for a lesbian movie, it actually wasn't terrible compared to, like, some of the yeah. really terrible ones. Like, it was, you That's know, true. pretty decent. For sure. Also, I do like the way they did the languages. I thought that was, yeah. was kind of cool. It really gave it like, the international feel. That made me really happy. Yeah. In, yeah. It became part of the story, having all these languages and layers, and like who talks to who in what language. Right. Um, that was that. Mm -hmm. We're gonna finish our soup. Is it soup weather? Soup is good. It was in like fifth grade or something when we had to do Civil War projects anyway. 
so for some reason I had a Betsy Ross outfit. Like a Columbia. <laughs> My mom just told me to be that for Halloween. Just be Betsy Ross. Knew what I was. <laughs> I was like, this is hella patriotic and awkward. That's really funny. I had Betsy Ross for Halloween. <laughs> I don't need to know how to put a condom on a banana. I need to know these other things first. Right? right? No one teaches you that. 